this episode, we'll discuss some of the basics of combat in Guild Wars 2. Remember, we are only discussing the basics. There are several more things to understand about the combat, but we'll cover those in future episodes. In most games, mechanics like dodging and blocking are passive dynamics that the player doesn't control. There are of course skills and abilities that you manually activate to increase your chance to do either of these, but as the player all you really do is push a button that increases your chance to perform these actions. Dodging is probably the most important topic covered in this video. Learning how to use it will not only help you to survive better as a player, but also help you take down other players more effectively in player versus player combat. In Guild Wars 2, dodging an attack means that you literally move out of the way to avoid it. When dodging, your character will roll in the direction that you decide. Successfully dodging an attack will totally negate its damage. To make your character dodge, you simply double tap a directional key, W, A, S, or D, to quickly dash in that direction. Additionally, you can press a directional key in combination with the dodge key, which is V by default. If you press the dodge key without pressing a directional key first, you will by default tumble backwards. In Guild Wars 2, every player has a resource called Endurance, which is used when dodging. Endurance regenerates over time, and when you have full endurance, you can dodge twice, each dodge costing 50 endurance. One more important note to remember is that there are several crowd control effects that will prevent you from dodging. However, if you attempt to dodge while CC'd, no endurance will be used. Furthermore, there are both conditions and boons that can slow down and speed up your endurance regeneration. Similar to dodging, blocking is a mechanic that in some games will either fully or partially negate incoming damage. Guild Wars 2 has a blocking mechanic, and also similar to dodging, it is an action that the player has to actively control, rather than just being a passive effect. In Guild Wars 2, most blocking fully negates incoming damage and effects, and in many cases will return damage to the attacker, essentially making it an effective parry. In most games, heavy plate wearing classes are usually the only classes which have access to blocking. That isn't the case with Guild Wars 2, and in fact, every class has some sort of blocking mechanic. I'll put a link in the description below to a full list of abilities that have a blocking effect. I hope this video has been helpful, and if you haven't yet, make sure to check out previous episodes in the series by using the on-screen annotations.